Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome to the cottage vlog. Just having my coffee. I sent out a picture already on Instagram, and uh, people are already sending me pictures back. That was kind of funny, kind of cool. I love that part of this adventure I am on called YouTube and social media. The social media experiment and career. Uh, so I'm gonna do a full day vlog today for you guys. You guys deserve it. It's Tuesday. Tonight is uh, the night my Taco Bell video goes up online. And it's a shout out to Nancy Kelly, who's fighting uh, anorexia, fighting the battle against anorexia and bulimia. And uh, so that was a nice shout out to her. And uh, just show you around. It's a nice, beautiful day. One of the best things about coming up here for a week is that there's not a lot of other people up here, everybody else at work. Not a lot of people vacationing. So, uh, it's quiet. Not a lot of boats making noises. Yesterday there was a guy with a, a personal watercraft just going around in circles. And you're like, that's why uh, they outlawed high powered rifles in Canada. Just because of those guys. Just kidding. If I had one, I would have been out there. That's what this is for. Somebody asked me that the other day. What is that marine railway thingy for? That is a personal watercraft lift. There's a crank on that end, so it cranks all the way down to the water level. You drive your watercraft right on top of it, and then you crank it up and it keeps it out of the water. But as you can see, we don't have it in the water because we haven't had it in the water in about four years um, because my mom rents the cottage out. Uh, you only get to use it a couple times and it's just a waste of money to get it up and running and then putting it away at the winter time and all that stuff so so it's been wrapped up for at least four years anyway so today we're getting a brand new fridge in the in the kitchen so right now my mom and, and Carol are emptying this fridge because the other fridge is being delivered very soon and uh, so we're gonna have a new fridge, which is nice, because this one makes noises and doesn't do a really good job. It's very, very, very old. Um, so from here, we are going up to Perry Sound today, and I'm probably having lunch, so I'll be vlogging about that kind of stuff. All right, so I will take you along. Hang on. Some of you might remember my sister and my mom built this uh, garden area that was not there before. It was just a drop off from up there to down here. And so they built this up. We have to reinforce it a bit more because that wood will not hold. I'm gonna put lots of rocks in here. I started bringing those ones up and I'm gonna put them as much around here as possible to stop it from eroding. And then there's the fire pit that we did. I did all the stair work. And that's a nice big rock. And then we have the fire pit going. I, I put a vine up the other day uh, about it. I built this uh, the year my father passed away. It was kind of a, a memorial to him. And that was the memorial stone my sister found and, and wanted to have here as a reminder for my dad. And there's the other garden. And these are Black Eyed Susans. As you remember in one of my other videos, I thought I had Black Eyed Susans in my garden at home, but that's not correct. We are just about to head out. I was going to show you the path that I fixed. This is all like gone because the water comes down our big driveway and uh, if it's not um, channeled right, then the water comes down this way, comes through here. It's like a natural water spill and then takes this stuff and then dumps it down there. So I had to like shovel it all out, bring it all back up here, flatten it out so that it looks good again. We have chipmunk holes. They love this driveway. Uh, I'll show you this other part that I fixed. So as you can see, our driveway is very steep. And then the water comes down this natural ditch. And then uh, it's made this natural ditch. And then I just had to like scoop up as much dirt as possible so that the water will go that way. Instead of building up here and then going over our steps and towards the cottage. It just makes it... Uh, uh, the erosion happened less. 
Uh, but it is a steep driveway. We can get up this, Ben and I can get up this on our bikes. It's really steep and of course it's gravelly so your tire doesn't stick. Anyway, so we're off to Perry Sound and I'll talk to you there, bye. All right, we're up in Perry Sound. We're at a chip truck here. Uh, Carol and Megan went to go get a subway, but there's a chip truck right here. We're in the Perry Sound Mall and uh, we are having poutine. Hi, Ben. <laughs> and that is like 750 and it's huge. It's really heavy and they're using real big cheese curds. Look at that. They don't squeak. They don't but, but it's not the most important thing in the world. It's just fun when they squeak. Uh, she says she gets them from the city, but I'm not sure which city she, she said she gets them from. And they were also having whitefish. And uh, I guess the whole thing came to 14 dollars and then we bought two cokes on top of that so it came to I guess whether well, they were a buck a piece yeah so 14 15 16 bucks <laughs> for all this food he's apparently mom oh and I've got a mom coke <laughs> anyway so there's a little bit of a let's let's do a, a taste test an impromptu taste test just for you guys I'm gonna do it with oh look at that guys that Your looks sauce. nummy yummy it's like a uh, tartar sauce tartar sauce Mmm! Holy crap! Is it hot? Really hot. Oh, uh, wait. Sorry guys, it's windy here, so... Can you open one of these for me? Isn't vinegar good on it? It's very yeah. salty, yeah. You can put vinegar on it, but I don't think it needs it. The flavor of the fish is amazing. The breading is really salty. While well, Ben's doing that, you can open one of these. Bro, oh, you meant tartar sauce. Yeah, it's so open the tartar sauce. I think it's an open another well, fish. Well, so these fries are nice thick cut fries. They have the skin still on them. Isn't tartar sauce really spicy? Nope. What is tartar sauce? So what do you think of the, the your routine? Yep. It's really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna uh, grab another piece of fish. This time I'm gonna put tartar sauce on it. No, I don't. Oh. I'm gonna say don't open it because it tastes way better without the tartar sauce. So there you go, guys. There's a little impromptu food review of the uh, Perry Sound Mall. I guess they call it the uh, Gourmet Fries and More. Their poutine is absolutely fantastic. Their fish, you gotta try it. Like I said, it, it's a bit on the salty side, but that makes it what tastes even better than probably if you did. Yeah. All right, guys, talk to you. We are downtown uh, Perry Sound now. And look how high that bridge is for a train. It's unbelievable how high they can get that train up into the air. And it supports all that weight. It's crazy. Now we're just heading down to the waterfront. And I'll show you around. We are down at the docks in Perry Sound now. You can still see the train bridge back there. Big boat for <laughs> we don't know what it does. Uh, they, got a, they got a speed boat on there and there's a crane to lift it on and off, which is pretty cool. It's a very pretty city, uh, town. And uh, there's another small boat in front of that. There's a small fleet of uh, pontoon planes. Probably four or five that we can see. So it's very cool down here. Oh, I just realized I forgot to uh, rate our poutine and fish. Uh, I would rate them both a would recommend, not necessarily a run out and get it now. Although the poutine had really nice big cheese curds, they tasted amazing. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things that I definitely recommend. What do you? What about you, Ben? Uh, I would definitely say would recommend for both of them. Cool. Yeah, the fish was a bit on the salty side, but I think that's what made it taste even better than if it wasn't as salty as it was. But there you go. Now we're at the airport. For their annual... I would love to buy one of these. Yeah, that would be yeah, awesome. The only thing is you can't land it normal. So this is the downtown area of Perry Sound. Lots of shops and stores. 
because this is a, a little bit bigger of a city, uh, of a town than other towns, this is like uh, all year round, it's pretty busy, but of course their summer months are the busiest. So a lot of these uh, stores, they'll be around for only one year and then they're gone because they can only survive the one summer and then that's it, they can't survive the winter. But this is such a bigger town that most of these stores stick around a lot longer. But places like Port Carling, some of those places only last a year or two and then they're gone. Just showing you guys some of this awesome rock that they had to blow out to make the highway go through. It's very cool. And we're back. You might recognize where I am right now. I am at my in-laws cottage, which is only about 50 kilometers uh, southwest of my mom's cottage. And because uh, I have to get my fishing stuff, I left it here last time we were here. And uh, so when we're in Perry Sound, uh, we, we phoned them up and said, we'll come by and pick up my fishing gear. Oh yeah. There she is. Uh, so we got my fishing gear. A little bit dirty. No time to fish here, we gotta get back. We got a whole bunch of groceries that we picked up in per Perry Sound. Now we just had to go back through Port Carling, grab some water, some rum, beer maybe, and then we'll head back. I might get some fishing done before the end of the day. Yeah. All right, guys, sorry about the sound, but the wind's gonna be making a mess with this audio. I apologize. Um, after we left my in-laws cottage, after having a beer and the ladies had tea, uh, we drove from there to um, Bala, where I got some rum and some beer to bring back to this cottage. And, uh, and then we stopped in Port Carling to get water at the town office. They have a free thing of water that you can use. Uh, so now I'm going to do some fishing because I know a lot of you guys love the fishing. So I'm using a wacky worm. Let's give it a shot, see if there's any bass in this lake today. Uh-oh. I just realized my tension is too loose. First cast, let's see what happens. One more cast. Got one. Ah. Little guy. This is a smallmouth bass, and he had a big hunger. Show up, dude. I don't want them to flip out. That's a smallmouth. Very pretty little fish. Mwah. There you go, guys. I'll try and catch a bigger one. Check me out on Instagram to see if I uh, catch a bigger fish and I'll uh, share that with you. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Uh, again, I hope you like this day up in Muskoka that I shared with you. Uh, just a few things that we do. All right, talk to you later, bye.